During World War II, an entire city sprang up seemingly overnight. But why here? And how did the government keep it hidden? Well, we know that in the early 1940s, the U.S. government selected this remote valley in Tennessee for one of the most classified projects in history, the Manhattan Project. It was big. More than 75,000 people lived and worked here. Many of them were unaware of the true nature of their jobs. They just knew that whatever they were doing was something to support the war effort. What was that job? Oak Ridge was instrumental in the creation of the atomic bomb a fact that remained classified for years. That piqued our interest. Well, that and several research articles. But we didn't just do the reading. We actually went there to find out ourselves. Where we visited what is called the K-25 Visitor Center, which is located at the site of what was one of the largest industrial buildings during World War II. I'll tell you a little more about that later. So we've laced a lot of that footage in here with the video so you can get a feel of what we saw. The amazing part, they kept such a large place hidden from everyone. You couldn't even find it on a map. It was more top secret than Colonel Sanders' secret recipe. So why was all of this colossal effort necessary? Well, to know that, we've got to go back a little bit. Back before there was an Oak Ridge, back before there was even a Manhattan Project, it all started with a letter. And this was a special one, no doubt. This was written by none other than Albert Einstein and fellow physicist Leo Szilard and dates back to 1939, and it had a huge warning in it. The warning? Nazi Germany was working on a weapon that utilized nuclear fission. So it was sent to President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Understanding what this prospect meant to the United States and the rest of the world, FDR was generally shaken over it and spurred our military into action, which ultimately led to the creation of the first atomic weapons under the code name the Manhattan Project. 